Glenn Davis <clears throat> earlier that I'm glad I wasn't here when Mike was here. I would never got to play quarterback. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Coach Mike Kennis and the Athletic Hall of Fame Selection Committee. I'm truly thankful and honored to be selected to the Delta State Sports Hall of Fame. I'd also like to thank those who nominated me and wrote letters of recommendation for me. And when I came to Delta State in Cleveland, Mississippi, I learned a lot of things. Two of the things I learned, this was the hottest place and coldest place I'd ever been. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd never gotten out hot practicing football in my life. I started playing in the third grade and this was different up here. I was given the opportunity to come and play football at Delta State by Coach Horace McCool. And after my red shirt year, Coach McCool moved from his position of head coach and athletic director to athletic director. The two years I played, Coach Robert McGraw was a head coach. Now, I don't know how many of y'all knew him or remember him, but when I say he was hard-nosed, that's an understatement. He liked to kill us. Uh, made us better men, though. I was coming from Hines Junior College where I'd, we worked very hard and had great coaches. When I got to Delta State, that hard work picked up about four or five notches. I've told people before that I never was in the military, but playing football at Delta State was close thing. I had to be the close thing to be in the military. They worked us extremely hard. I remember talking among our, amongst ourselves as players that we could play five quarter games instead of four quarter games. That's how good a shape we're in. The coaches taught us how to be mentally and physically tough. I started my coaching career in 1976 and coached 42 years. There were three things to me that were always constant, blocking, tackling, and discipline. If you don't block, you won't run the ball. If you can't tackle, you won't stop anybody. It's pretty simple. I also want to teach our players life lessons. Be on time for practice in class. Always have your notebook and pencil with you. Sit in front of the classroom if possible. Keep a clean locker and a clean dressing room. And I always told them that you are responsible for you. The longer I coached, it was just as important or more about teaching my players those life lessons than winning district championships and playoff games. If I could influence and teach my players to be a better husband to their wife and a better father to their children and a contributing member to society, then I think I've been a successful coach. The life lessons I learned here while playing at Delta State have carried me through my coaching career and my personal life. If I would not have learned how to be mentally tough while playing here, I would have folded many times during my coaching career and would have given up on several things and situations in my personal life. I am grateful to have received this honor and to have been afforded the opportunity to play football at Delta State University. Thank you so much.